です。These awesome three Kyoto stamps. If we didn't ask the staff, so Eki stampu arimasu ka? You can use that to ask them if you like. I was a little bit worried to come to Kyoto during Koyo season because it's probably the most popular place to go in Japan during autumn to see the pretty colors because it's just gorgeous. And it is crowded, but it's not overwhelmingly crowded. However, we're still at the station. <laughs> we'll see how it looks when we get into the city. So our next mission is a nice walk along Philosopher's Path, which is this pretty little path here in Kyoto that follows a river. During the spring, it's amazing. During the autumn, it's probably also really amazing. I've never seen it during autumn. We're gonna grab a warm drink to bring with us. It's kind of chilly today. I don't know what I want. Ooh. Oh, they've got hot drinks. They've got hot lattes. I really just want matcha. It's amazing that it's fresh matcha. I don't know, but for some reason I thought it would just come out of a machine. Mm. Ooh, that's nice. It's not too bitter. It's pretty bitter. <laughs> So if you're catching a taxi and you want to tell them the name in Japanese, it's Tetsugaku Philosophy no Michi. We're gonna walk some of it. I think it's quite long, so we might not do the whole thing today, but I really just wanted to show Ushka because she's never been on it and it's amazing. <laughs> That's really cute. The material looks really nice. Yeah, yeah. We just talked to the cutest old lady. She was so sweet. She came up and asked if we had like shrines and temples in our country because we were looking at a really pretty shrine back there. And we said no. And then she said we were pretty. And I was like, no, you're pretty. And she's like, no, I'm I'm 97 years old. And I'm like, what? Because you look 70 max. She was so lovely. It looks like she kind of just hangs out at the shrine there and makes conversation with people who are visiting. So that was really sweet. It's a fish. It's oh, a koi. Are you serious? It's a massive koi. I wish you guys could tell how big they are. Let's see. Here's a foot for <laughs> reference. God, they're huge. People must be feeding them. <laughs> oh no, that one's cute. That's so cute. Oh my god, look at that guy. Oh. We're starting to get hungry and I've been to Philosopher's Path with Chris before and we went to this amazing restaurant. I can't even remember what we ate. I just remember that it was so delicious that I was like, I gotta take Ushka here. And now I'm here with Ushka. So we have to find this mystery restaurant that I cannot remember the name of. I can't even remember what kind of food it was. I can't smell food. All I remember is that you had to cross a little bridge and then it was over on the other side. It might be that one. It might be that one. It's amazing. Oh, it's cheesecake. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. Philly cheesecake. Yeah. And you can get jalapenos in them. Thank you so much. Look at that. Cheers! As if this place could get any better, they have root beer too. I love it. And the staff are so nice. It's honestly the best restaurant in the world. There's nothing overly Japanese about it, like it's Philly cheesesteak and root beer. So if you're visiting Kyoto, I don't know if this is what you'll be in the mood for, but if you just want something yummy, highly recommend. We just came out of the restaurant. Almost missed the sunset. This is crazy. I haven't seen a sunset this nice in a while. It's extra awesome today. Oh no, I don't know. Oh, I like him. Oh, that one's cute. No, this one. It's definitely this one. <laughs> 
Yeah, they're really heavy, of, right? Just a piece of paper inside, right? They're so cute. I love it. <laughs> it's only going back when. They had stamps. The shop is <laughs> awesome. Kyo Mizu did it. Oh, cool. That's that so looks cool. amazing. walking along and we came across Nishiki Market, which I've never been to. It's a famous little like um, food street where you can try lots of yummy like street foods. So what the uh, heck is that? Rice cake with pickled radish, lemon and mayo. That looks like yakitori, <laughs> but it's a rice cake. We have to try it. I've never seen anything like this before. Umeniku takuan. Ooh, that sounds good. Pickled uh, plum, white miso. That could be nice. This is sweet soy sauce flavor, cheese, <laughs> and fish egg and mayonnaise. And then they've also got crunchy sembe here. Yum! I've never seen a sembe like this. Oh, I don't know which one to try. That's a very spicy yeah. one. It's very spicy. Look at the color. <laughs> These are so interesting. The cheese one is really warm. <laughs> mm. Mm. That's really good. So, it's a really squishy sambe. It's like juicy. That's really weird. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you could make a soaked in soy sauce. Mm -hmm. After baking it, right? And maybe like medium or something. It's really sweet. Mm. You can see the little <laughs> pink fish eggs. It's mentaiko. Mm. If you've never had fish eggs before, I feel like mentaiko is a good place to start because they're really yummy and they don't really taste too fishy. This one's really good. Ooh. I think my one's softer. Mmm. Mm. I like yours. Right? Mmm, yummy. What's the word? The kind of sourness of the mayo goes really well with the sweet <laughs> rice cracker. Mmm. There's like a Kyoto um, furitake. Mmm. Ryu. Like oh god, like yes. Um, Not you everything. It's so nice. Okay, we found it. This is the best furikake in the world. You can tell it's super flavorful. It's like yeah. still kind of moist. Nayu is um, garlic and chili oil. This is mixed with some sesame seeds and probably a couple other things. And you sprinkle this on rice and it just makes it taste amazing. Or, in my personal recommendation, fresh white bread, peanut butter, and this. Oh Christ, and yeah. So good. Or on a fried egg. I'm so excited about this. And this will make an amazing Christmas present for my family. You know, they're not really into Japanese foods, so I find it hard to find souvenirs in Japan that they'll like, but this is just garlic and chili oil. I think they're gonna love it. They also have this customize your own furikake station where you can make your own combination of your favorite spices and they'll mix it up for you and put it in a cute little package. I love the shop. What a cool souvenir from Kyoto, I love this. I was actually invited to make rings today. I'm gonna make my own ring. We're gonna make our own rings <laughs> and Chris's. No promises on how it's gonna turn out, but I'm really excited because I love kind of like hands-on stuff and Ushka is amazing at crafty stuff. There's so many different ones. I didn't expect there to be this many options actually. I'll probably get the thinnest one. I'm thinking I want to make one that will go over my engagement ring and fit nicely. This is so hard. We don't have Chris here, so I can't <laughs> test it on him. He's never worn jewelry in his life, okay? He's not a jewelry guy. <laughs> I think the the simpler the better, but probably a thicker ring would be good for him. Look at this. Ah, He's not here to see if it'll perfectly fit, so hopefully when we get back home and he tries it on, it'll be all right. Bring it! <laughs> 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 
It went down a bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm nearly there. I think I'm, I'm going to this top bit. Yogami Katatsuki got there, no, they must go to Toto Noe, they keep mask. Okay. ああ、いいんじゃないカードだよ。いいんじゃないえ、面白い。カード大丈夫うん、じゃない。え、面白い。そう、しごしごしごしごし。そう、しごしです。This <笑> We both like Depeche Mode, and I think that's pretty cool. I'm going with a stoic quote, and it's Amor Fati, which means whatever happens in life, make the most of it. That's gonna look really cool on there. It's gonna right? be tiny. I know. Like tiny little letters. <laughs> so cool. I love that you can just write whatever you like on it. Because that just made it like a hundred times cooler having a personalized quote on it. We came in here and we had like those string, like the bits yeah. of metal. And now it's a perfect and now it's a ring. ring. Go us. That's amazing. If you guys want to make your own rings, you can book a reservation on their website. You need to make a reservation beforehand, so don't just pop into the store. And you can get some matching rings with your friend or your partner. That was so much fun. That was amazing. That was amazing. What should we do next? <laughs> Eat lots more food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Look at this awesome tea shop. There's just tea leaves all over the floor. Oh, it smells amazing. I wish you guys could smell this. So this is the super matcha one, as you can tell. I'm really interested to see how strong it is. And Ushka's is one level down, but it comes with warabi mochi, so I'm not sure which one's better. Thank <laughs> you. So thick. I love matcha. It's not too much difference in green. Oh, no, it's quite a difference in green. Oh, shit, that's good. Mmm. Now that's super, super matcha. Mm. This is like the perfect level. That's I was good. kind of expecting it to be a little too intense, but it's not at all. Can take one of these. Oh, yes. Mmm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That's so soft. <laughs> it just melts in your mouth. It's the perfect texture. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. <laughs> yeah. The shop is amazing. Mm. I'm so glad we came here. Mm. I know that Osaka is known for food, but honestly, Kyoto has an amazing food scene. Both like street foods like this, and also sit down restaurants. They have tons of like Michelin star restaurants if you like fancy stuff. So just delicious food everywhere. That's really nice. Maybe we should live in Kyoto. We are back at the stamp shop. <laughs> we couldn't resist. I just found a lucky cat. Oh, and I also really need ink. There's a few here you need. I need some ink colors. The store is dangerous. There's so many cool colors. Oh, here's the color mm. sample. God, I love this store. Oh, look at the ginkgo leaves. You need the color like for the big ones. ones. I really wanted a um, chrysanthemum, but I can't find one. I'm gonna do it on the side because I like that new style we're doing with like layering them. It looks yeah. so cool. Oh, that's amazing. What a cool color. I got some really pretty ones. Just check out the color of that ink pad. Like pastels. It's gorgeous. I 
saw this recommended on Instagram and it looked really yummy. I don't normally eat ramen, but I felt like I would try something new because I'm in Kyoto and it, it just looks really good. It's really unique. It's a creamy chicken broth ramen and it's got lemons. Look at the lemon one. Really interesting. It's called Muraji. I'll link it down below if you're interested. Mm, okay, I want the white ramen. But I also want the lemon ramen. White chicken soup and lemon. I feel like I gotta get that one, but it doesn't come with other toppings. It's just lemons. <laughs> So good. That was really good. I That's think that amazing. was better than I was expecting. It had a really nice gravy flavor yeah. to it. Kind of reminded me of roast dinner. I would 100% come here again. I don't know if they've made the lemon ramen like a permanent menu item. I know that it was supposed to be a special thing that was only for a short while and then it was super popular and they kept it on the menu. So hopefully that's a permanent thing. But even if it's not, the one you got was good too, yeah, wasn't well, it? Yeah, mine was amazing. I had the chicken black, black, it black sauce, ramen. Yeah, yeah. It had extra soy sauce in it. It honestly just tasted like roast chicken. It, it did. Amazing. It like, smelled like roast, roast chicken. chicken. Yeah, highly recommend this place. <laughs> Thumbs up. We're back in the hotel room now. We just had the best shopping trip. Like this Kyoto trip has been amazing. We got so many cool things. Normally when I go traveling in Japan, I don't buy many things because I kind of just like experiencing it, eating the local foods. And sometimes I'll come home with one souvenir, you know, one cool thing I found from like a shokunin or something. But Kyoto has been so cool. And it's probably because everything's cat themed here. <laughs> There's lots of cat stuff, but it's like cool cat stuff. It's amazing. Just wait till you see it. Okay, are you ready? Okay, so our first purchase, you guys have seen this beauty. This is amazing. I'm so glad we got these. These are gonna be so fun to wear whenever we do like a Neko Neko event. This one was a little bit different because the color Slightly was different. different color. Um, but it's still got the same cat set. One looks like a pixel look at yeah. face plant. Let's open these next. <laughs> they're so cute. Wow, I forgot I got all those. <laughs> we went back twice, that's why I have two bags. I got a collection of stamps. Let me show you them one by one because they're gorgeous. So these are rubber stamps. This one's amazing. You can't really tell because it has a handle, but this is a four kanji kotowaza. A river, clouds, tiny cat. It looks like Maro. Other cat that kind of looks like tuna. What is this? I've never known what these are. Are they waves? Are they a plant? It's a traditional Japanese design, but I've never really figured out what they are. But this looks so neat if you just stamp like a few of them on your letter or your postcard. It's so cool. A lucky cat. And then I got these amazing stamp pads so you can do like a rainbow stamp. These look bright. They're actually pastel. Comes out really pretty. And then I had to get the black gray gradient to do the cat ones. Are you ready for the best thing ever? I was convinced to buy this by like a video ad that I saw on the station. We walked past it and it was so amazing. We had to go into the store. It's a cat, but there's more. There's more. <laughs> so you have incense, it's got a little tray in the bottom. You put an incense in it, you burn it, and then the smoke comes out <laughs> the ears. And it just looks so cool. And it's just cute. It's not your typical cat statue, you know? It's got a really cute face. I love it so much. It smells so good. If you can find the scent of incense when you come to Kyoto, get it. Just take my word for it. It's the best one. Okay, do you see these little things that look like candy? These are incense. You can light them on fire and they'll slowly smoke like a regular incense stick and each one has a different scent and meaning and this is a cute little ceramic holder 
for it. It's adorable. Is this not the cutest little incense set ever? Next is a personal favorite. Are you ready for the coolest t-shirt ever? So this was a collaboration at the Graniff store with an artist, a female artist named Ayako Ishiguro. And it looks like she specializes in yokai cats. You ready for the coolest design ever? So we've got the fire cat and the ice cat and they have children together and they're so cute. Look at him, he's so angry. Look at this guy, that's Tuna. He's giving Tuna vibes. <laughs> and they all have two tails. Oh, I love them. <laughs> I want a tattoo of this. The design was just too beautiful not to buy it. It was the last one in the shop. Next we have Q Kyoto, which is the oldest stationery shop in Kyoto and arguably the coolest. And we went to something called a letter. What would it be it called? Was little, buffet? It was a little buffet. It was like a letter buffet. So they had pieces of paper and envelopes and all different styles just lying there. And you go through and you choose your favorites. So I chose these confetti envelopes. I got a few of those. They're all different. It's neat. They're all a little bit different. I chose these beautiful colored envelopes with their logo on them. And then a random assortment of gorgeous paper for writing letters on. How fun is that? And it was quite affordable. All these papers and envelopes and I chose this beautiful box to keep them in. This all came to about 1100 yen and it's fully customized by me. So that's a fun little present that you could make for somebody. Next we have our rings, which you have seen. And then we ended up at a fabric store <laughs> and we bought lots of things. I had a genius idea to make some Christmas presents this year. So using the same fabric that we got our cool cat um, happy coats in, we found the exact same one, but in beige. So using this fabric, I'm gonna make some tote bags. Also found this one, very cute. That's again, it's, so. I don't know if you guys can tell, like it's like ink in, splotches. In, it looks like it was painted. Face. I got some other random fabric scraps and these really fun, colorful zippers that I'm gonna make. Um, little pouches with. So I have a lot of sewing to get done before December 25th. <laughs> Too much, really. We'll see how that goes. Maybe it'll be next Christmas. Okay, half of this is yours, These, actually. yeah, we got that fruity These cut guys. that you saw. Delicious. So that's oh, amazing. yeah, half of that is mine. Yeah, half of that's Thanks. yours. <laughs> you this is something we got yesterday. Cool. Do you remember which one was yours? I you think if I look at the face. face, I'll know. Okay. This is definitely the one that I got because I remember the eyes being really big. Okay, so that's okay. yours. Shall Do you think you? we'll be lucky? I'm, I'm really scared. First. Okay. I wonder if it'll be I'm always Japanese. really nervous about opening these. We got a really good Omikuji the other day. Yeah. I think it's going to be in Japan. It's really Japanese. Oh, Daikichi! Oh! Have a catastic day! Oh my god, how cool is that? <laughs> Best Omikuji ever! That's amazing! You can have some of mine if you Kichi. It's not a cat arrested. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know what to do with that information. Hako ga attara hairi tai kokoro yasumete riraksu. Ah, okay. It's telling me to take a rest. In Japanese, it says if you see a box that you want to get into, rest your mind and relax. I'll keep that in mind. Finally, I bought this beautiful wrapping paper. I thought I could wrap all these gifts using this gorgeous paper from Kyoto. All right, this was very clearly the best trip to Kyoto I could have possibly had. <laughs> I hope you had as much fun as I did. We <laughs> stoked with all the stuff we did. Yeah, it was really fun. It was amazing. We found a lot of cool shops. We talked to lots of really nice people. Got some sweet rings made yeah. by ourselves. It honestly couldn't have gone much better. So if you are crazy cat people like me, Anushka. I hope you got some inspo for what to do on your Kyoto trip. Basically just walk around and eat and buy stuff. That's what Kyoto's 
<laughs> great for. We just had a great time. We saw some cool little streets over on Philosopher's Path. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed joining us on this adventure. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye. -bye.